Um, and you know, one thing that, I, uh, that I'm kind of keen to start looking at is how can a platform like this start to enable um, com mobile communities of practice. And what I mean by that, you know, is a group of folks, you know, practitioners, whatever, people working in the same field or different uh, cadres of healthcare workers who can, you know, effectively communicate to each other or to a whole group of other folks via frontline SMS. You know, kind of, um, we have these, you know, web-based communities of practice. A lot of times they're just basically, you know, discussion lists or something or areas for collaboration. But, um, you know, sending one request back and providing one bit of information back is, can be very, very powerful. But what if you could tap into whole groups of people, whole communities, using nothing but SMS messages. So uh, I'm a, you know, I'm a um, healthcare worker out in the field, and I have a question. Um, I don't just have to ask that question to one person. I could potentially ask that question to a whole community of people, a whole community of people that may be sort of in my geographic area, spread around the entire country. I mean, conceivably, these people could be anywhere in the world. It might get expensive with SMS costs, but. Um, I, there's no reason this couldn't scale to uh, huge levels. Um, so I'm very interested in using a platform like this to develop mobile communities of practice. And then one last thing really quickly that I just, just thought of the other day, and actually I was inspired by somebody who asked a question. Uh, they said, well, if you had something like this, could you capture um, those questions and those answers? Um, well, yeah, I mean, it would actually be really simple to, you could, those would be captured here in Frontline SMS, of course, but if you were to put those out into a database, you could then connect that database to a simple web page of, sorts, of some sort and start cr to create actually a, a knowledge base um, that was accessible via mobile phone and potentially accessible over the web. So a question comes in, if it, you know, a new entry gets created, the answers that get sent back from the other mobile phones come in as answers and they get logged in here. Um, and as I said, so you start to develop a knowledge base that's accessible from different points, all based on your mobile community of practice. So, those are just, uh, like I said, just some ideas I've been thinking about lately. Ways to extend, you know, the the out of the box uh, functionality of frontline SMS. Um, stuff that I think that we could do here at Japigo, um, you know, in any of our programs in the, you know, in the areas where we're working, in the, we're working, you know, in limited resource settings. But SMS is something that's available everywhere, everywhere we are, you know. Um, you don't need mobile data access to do this, just a simple 140 characters. Now, of course, there are limitations there, um, uh, but you know, you'd be, you'd be um, surprised how much information you can um, pack into 140 characters, and you'd be surprised at how connected you can make people feel and, and be, um, even with just simple messages like that. So, as I said, just some stuff I've been thinking about. Hopefully at some point I'll actually get a chance to do some of this out in the field. That would be great. And one thing I just realized I forgot. Um, so I talked about frontline SMS here being uh, the sort of uh, intermediary between code, databases, other things running out on the internet. But there is a fourth one, um, a fourth option. And that is, in fact, another instance of frontline SMS somewhere else. There's no reason that messages couldn't be triggered and sent to another... Oh, I should have done this better. Get my phone here. Can't forget the phone. From here to another Frontline SMS instance, which does something else with that. Um, which maybe passes it on to a bunch of other people who are connected at that node, um, which maybe queries a database that's sitting attached to this one, 
or you know, gets you know, runs some code, or maybe maybe this guy isn't connected to the internet, but this one is. So maybe you know the uh, the request out to the internet goes out from this machine, as opposed to this machine. Um, but you know, there's no reason you couldn't have just you know a whole crazy network of frontline SMS instances at all in all regions and areas of, of a country, you know, um, that were connected together. You could do this in kind of a central, you know, kind of way where they're all connected to a central instance or, you know, maybe they could they communicate directly to each other. I mean it's basically, you know, it's a network, right? This is Frontline SMS enables you to develop SMS based communications networks. And I think, you know, we tend to think about that as, you know, a single instance of frontline SMS, frontline SMS, and a bunch of phones. But no reason we can't think of it like, you know, the internet, you know, and we have all of these nodes that are just connected to each other um, over the network. So that's, so I guess there's actually four potential um, sort of uh, models here for extending this. External code, a database of some sort, out to the internet to who knows what out there, or to another instance uh, of frontline SMS. So, yeah, lots of opportunities there. Lots of very cool, very cool opportunities.